Again, despite the court order and rulings concerning the case of Inland Bekano against the DSS, ordering the DSS to always allow the legal team of Inland Bekano to visit Inland Bekano. Today, 1st of November 2024, being Friday, which Inland Bekano legal teams are supposed to visit him as ordered by the court. They went to the DSS in Lagos to visit Inland Bekano and getting there again, DSS denied them access to see Inland Bekano in disrespect to the court order. Now, ladies and gentlemen, in this country called Nigeria, what is actually going on? Does it mean that justice is totally dead and buried? Does it mean there is another law after the law that we know in this country? Does it mean that some individuals are bigger than law in this country? And as they have always said that it's an order from above, nobody should be granted access to see Mazi Nnamde Kano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. And I ask, who is this order from above? Who is this person that his or her order is bigger than the order of the courts? Courts, constitution, something that leads the country, that governs a country. And there is another order that is more powerful than it. Anyway, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, for the sake of not adding or subtracting from what is right, now I want to take you people into the details of this very article as reported by the lead counsel of Unambe Kanu, the person of Barrister Aloy Ejimako to Sahara reporters. And now, Open your ears and listen to the articles and details. And I read. DSS again denies access to IPOB leader Nnamde Kano. Will face vigorous court action, says lawyer Ejimako. November 1st, 2024, Ejimako said that in deliberate violation of court order, allowing Kano access to his lawyers, the DSS of Friday again blocked Kano assets from his legal team. Barrister Aloy Ejimako, the special counsel to the detailed leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Nunam the Kano on Friday raised the alarm again over the Department of State Service, DSS, blatant and continued disobedience of extant court order in Kano states, in Kano's case. Eji Mako said, in deliberate violation of court order, allowing Kano to assess his lawyers, the DSS on Friday again blocked Kano assets from his legal team. He vowed that following the DSS insistence on violating the court order, all suspended legal actions to enforce compliance would proceed apace and with much vigor. Eji Mako said, Today, in a blatant and continuing disobedience of extant court order, the DSS barred the legal team of Mazi Nandekano from conducting a visitation with him. For this reason, all suspended legal actions to enforce compliance will proceed apace and with more vigor. Sahara reporters had reported how Ejimako on Monday said that the DSS will get into trouble with the Federal High Court for continuing to deny Kano access to his legal team. Ejimako had found that Kano's legal team would visit him at the DSS custody despite restrictions by the secret police, noting that the DSS restriction of the IPOB leader from meeting with his legal team is against a court order issued by Justice Binta in Yako. Sahara reporters had reported that Ejimako complained that the DSS had been denying Kano access to his legal team after the detained IPOB leader demanded the recuser of Justice in Yako from his case. Sahara reporters also reported that the following that following a motion filed by Kano's legal team, the court threatens to jail the DSS Director General Adiola Ajayi for contempt of court. However, Ejimako said the DSS had continued to deny Kano access to his legal team despite the court threats. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, from this article you all have heard me read. I believe you now begin to understand why I always come out to shout for us, to tell us vigorously that Nigeria can never walk.
Anyone who is believing in Nigeria is like believing that a basket with cutlass hole will wage water. Anyone believing that Nigeria will work is like someone who is giving is or who take a, a, a razor blade to be cutting an Iroko tree. Is it possible? For that person to cut down an Iroko tree with just a razor blade is impossible. This is the case of Nigeria. Just look at how lawless the country is. Look at now in Abuja court today. Look at the peaceful protesters, minors that were arranged in court. They have been under detention since the protests. Minors. Today now, they, they all collapsed in court and they were rushed to the hospital. Who knows if they even succeeded, if they make it alive. These are minors. People, what is the crime of these people? Their crime is because as a country, they come in a country where they are blessed with oil and gas, crude oil, cocoa, timber, for many things, many blessings in excess. Yet, they, they cannot see food to eat. They are dying of hunger, starvation, hardship because of bad governance. And as a result of this, they decided to come out and protest. For, to cry for their leaders, for their government to come to their rescue, to their rescue. This is the only offense they have committed, and the Nigerian government they arrange them to court, charge them of treason and other treasonable felonies. Now today they brought them to court to arrange, and five of them collapse before the judges. These are people's children. I wonder how the judge could be feeling. If he was feeling good, he was feeling okay, relaxed. If he was feeling okay, you know, comfortable by seeing those minors who has been detained for months just because they are protesting for, for their rights. They are asking for good governance in their own country simply because they are practicing their constitutional rights in their own country. Now they have slumped and they were rushed to the hospital. Just imagine, if Nigerian government could be treating minors in this way, even after knowing that these people are fighting for their rights, how much more adults, how do you expect them to treat an adult or an organization whom they have seen or they have chosen to attack terrorist organization because they are against their movements? You see this country, it can never work. Nigeria is dead and buried though. The earlier you people realize it, the better for you people. And this is why I keep telling you, if you are a Yoruba man, you, 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 you need Yoruba nation. Agitate. It is not a crime. No. If you are now some man, continue agitate. Then be a France. Keep it all. Because the only solution to this mess we are all living in is the vision of this country. Yes. For Mazen Namdekano, you people have heard a lawyer, Jimako, the lead legal counsel of Namdekano. You understand? You heard everything he said. Which means you heard when he said that the DSS are going to face the core penalty of what they are doing. They are consistent disobedience of the court order. Thank you, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I remain your humble servant and activist and advocate for justice. Onye Chuku Meze. And this is my channel, Bendon TV. Please, in case you have not done the needful, it must I always tell you, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Because for you to have watched this video to this very moment, it simply means you like what I'm doing. So only support me by just subscribing, hitting the notification button, so that you can get updates of every of my uploads and whenever I am streaming live. And also, don't forget to always comment, drop your opinions in the comment section, like my videos and share so that the good news of justice who spread to the whole world. I love you, and as I know that, you love me too.